well, you'll see we're going to get R in two places, and that's what we've got to deal with. So our first job is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by R minus 3. I'm going to destroy that fraction. I'm going to times both everything by R minus 3. So that leaves me on the right-hand side with 2R plus 5, and on the left-hand side, P multiplied by R minus 3. Then I'm going to expand the brackets. Well, to be honest, I'm not going to do that on the left. On the right, I'm only going to do that on the left. So I'm going to rewrite this as PR minus 3P is equal to 2R plus 5. Now, I want to get all the R's on one side. So I'm going to take away 2R from both sides. But at the same time, I'm going to add 3P to move this P over there. So I'm going to add 3p as well. So that leaves me with pr minus 2r. And then I'm going to have 3p plus 5 on that side. If you're not sure what I've done, take a little step. I've done two steps in one. Taken away 2r from both sides, but I've also added 3p to both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize. I'm going to factorize. So this side stays with 3p plus 5. And then I've got a common factor of r. So I'm going to do p minus 2 here. And then I'm almost to, I'm at the home straight now. I'm going to divide both sides by p minus 2. Now you don't have to write down what I've done in red. I've just put it in there to help you out. That is going to be the r now. The numerator makes 3p plus 5, and on the bottom I've got p minus 2. So r is equal to 3p plus 5 divided by p minus 2. And I'm done.